there seems to be some acrimony between the president and the Republican congressional leadership. How do you repair this relationship going into the fall? Look, I think the relationships are fine. Uh, certainly there are going to be some policy differences, um, but there are also a lot of shared goals, and that's what we're focused on. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders defending President Trump's relationship with the Republican leaders. This after the president took aim at Senator Mitch McConnell and House Speaker Ryan on Twitter earlier today. Here now is Guy Benson, townhall.com political editor and a Fox News contributor. So, Guy, uh, she thinks the relationships are all fine. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go nearly that far. What do you think? Well, they're putting out statements on both sides saying, oh, we have shared goals. Everything's right. going to be just hunky dory. And there might be some personal acrimony at play here. The president has been feuding with McConnell, occasionally feuding with Paul Ryan. But ultimately, I think the reality is, David, I mentioned this on Brett Baer's show last night, they all need each other. They do. They do, they do have shared goals. They do want to repeal and replace Obamacare. They do want to reform yeah, the but tax time, code. Timing, and need excuse that. me, Guy, but timing is something they don't share. We heard from McConnell today say that he can wait until next year, uh, after which he, he could even wait until after the election before he gets a tax cut. And you know what that means. There will be no effect in the economy from a tax cut until after the election. The Republicans could lose that election as a result. Well, and Paul Ryan, though, has said on the other side of this, he's argued that just in the last couple of days, actually, that it has to be this year. Right. And I think McConnell, look, McConnell, even if you hate him, is a very savvy, smooth political operator. And he, he wasn't realizes, with health care. Hey, well, he did. Look, he worked very hard on but that. But he didn't John, do it. You're well, only John, close in horseshoes. John McCain and Lisa Murkowski voted no. He cannot force them to do anything. But the point I was going to mm. make, David, is yeah. McConnell recognizes for his own members who are up for re-election and will be up for re-election, if they have goose eggs when it comes to political and legislative accomplishments ahead of the elections, that's not a good look. Right. He knows that. So on policy and politics, it's in everyone's interest on the Republican side to get tax, uh, so taxes guy, done. So, why then did we we get this piece in the New York Times yesterday. It's called, it's called McConnell Doubts If Trump Can Save Presidency. It was obviously from the McConnell camp, if not directly from McConnell. Uh, and it was a direct hit on the president. I'm just going to quote a couple of lines. Mr. McConnell, this is from the New York Times piece, has mused about whether Mr. Trump will be in a position to lead the Republican Party in the next year's elections to be on. And the next one is really a killer. Mr. McConnell signus, signaled to business leaders that he was deeply uncomfortable with Mr. Trump's comments about Charlottesville. Now, as we know, the business leaders pulled out of some economic councils in the White House. Uh, that was a significant hit against the president's agenda, at least in pushing tax cuts with the business community. And McConnell's kind of taken credit for it. Well, I think that you're going to have a bunch of Republicans who are uncomfortable with what uh, Senator or what uh, President Trump said at times about Charlottesville. But I are you surprised, David, to see the New York Times pitting Republicans against each other? I mean, they, they do all, this all the time. Not at all, but you would think that McConnell's been around long enough so he would know that's what they were trying to do. Yeah, and, so, and this is what they do. So, look, McConnell is the establishment. He's a conservative, but he's an establishment that's D.C. Right. guy. He is one wing of this party. Donald Trump is a very different wing of this party. But ultimately, without one another, they're going to accomplish nothing, and they're going to self-destruct okay. together. I understand, but here's what worries me, Guy. Uh, Ryan is on board with getting tax cuts this year. I'm, I'm, I'm applauding that. I'm all for that. That's a great thing. Ryan won the health care battle in the House. Yeah. Mitch McConnell lost the health care battle in the Senate, and he is not for having tax cuts this year. So there seems to be... Well, he I is. Mean, no, he it's got to go through... Well, he said this Congress. He didn't say this year. I right. want to hear him say, correct that and say this year. This Congress would mean, you know, probably definitely before the elections, right? But look, no, I think McConnell... It could, it could be... McC by the way, it could, it could like, mean after the next election. Well, no, not with this Congress. I mean, it could be in the lame duck session, but that doesn't make any sense. It makes sense to come into the elections. You and I agree on this. Come into the elections with a, uh, an accomplishment, waving it in front of voters, saying, look what we've done. This is a huge thing for our economy. An accomplishment that happens this year. Otherwise, yeah. it won't have an effect on the economy I, until I after the election. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree it should be done as soon as possible. I do think, though, there are differences between the House and the Senate in terms of the rules, in terms of the vote margins. McConnell's playing with a two-vote majority with a couple of very 
squishy yes, moderates in there and a couple hardcore righties. Paul Ryan has a lot more votes to play with in the right. House where it's pure majority it's rules. So he's got an easier job wrangling votes than McConnell does. And by the way, if you don't like the way McConnell's doing his job, ask any Republican senator up here who they would rather have as leader, and you're going to get a lot of blank stares because they recognize from a tactician standpoint there aren't many McConnell's people. good at his job. Kind of like the going against the mayor of New York. There aren't many Republicans running against him. So right, zero. At any rate, Guy Benson, good to see you, my friend. Thank you very All right, thank much. Thank you, David. Lively debate. Appreciate it.